My question was, uh, we talked so much about the hybridization uh, of, of positions. Are we seeing a blurring of the line between outside linebackers and inside linebackers? I think today what it's going to is, is it would, as much as people are throwing the football around, they're looking for guys that can stay on the field and not come off. You know, three down guys that can come out and, and play multiple positions. And, and and that's what you're looking at now with these type kids. You know, some of them can play DN, rush the passer. They can move back to linebacker. But it's kids that are – that are the, the trend is going to, to guys that can stay on the field and play multiple positions and multiple downs. Uh, a guy who's who's got a bit of an interesting story, we start in Denton Ryan, Javaris Stewart, uh, or Stewart rather. He had a tremendous sophomore year. Uh, he was an all-district selection at Ryan in 2014. And then he moved to California for 2015, but he is back at Ryan as if those guys need any more talented players. <laughs> uh, but Javaris, exactly. Javaris Stewart, uh, when you watch film on him, he, he really jumps off the screen. No doubt, no doubt. 6'2", 240-pound kid, four-star recruit. And I put him at outside linebacker because when you look at him, he's so explosive. They play him at defensive end, but he's got the uh, – I project him as possibly a, 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 a deep uh, outside linebacker at the next level because he's big. He can rush the passer. He can sack the quarterback, as you see on tape. Uh, interesting story. The kid was at Ryan, like you said, his sophomore season, moved out to California. I think he was out at Pomona. California, and then he re- he just recently moved back to uh, Den Ryan, so he is there. I don't think he's going through spring drills, uh, but but he is there and expecting the, the line up and pad up in the fall. But had ten and a half sacks as a sophomore, thirty seven tackles, uh, just an explosive explosive player that that is going to be a guy that that a lot of folks are looking at. And I think that you mentioned ten and a half sacks as a sophomore, which is really ridiculous. But at the same time, I feel like we're seeing that more and more. I feel like we're seeing, especially from a defensive standpoint and from kind of an edge rushing standpoint, uh, these guys yeah, because these guys are getting it, on the field early. Yeah, they're getting on the field early and often, and they're 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 something to watch when you can find these kids that can can contribute and 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 sack the quarterback like this kid can. Uh, we're going to kind of stay in the greater Dallas-Fort Worth area and uh, mosey on over to Plano. Uh, we're not talking about the inside linebacker, uh, Anthony Hines. Instead, we're talking about the outside linebacker at Plano West, Muhammad Sonogo, uh, a, a guy who, who can really fly. It seems like when he gets up to top speed for a guy his size, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of speed, a lot of uh, a real top end uh, right there. When you look at Muhammad Sonogo, what stands out? Big, big, strong, like you said, can run, tackle, and tackle mainly, but he can also make plays outside of the box. Uh, ben, he's been a starter since the middle of his freshman season. In 2014, he had 111 tackles, 12 tackles for a loss. Great run stopper, uh, solid speed, uh, de- decent initial quicks, but a guy, uh, a hardcore uh, hard nosed guy that's in there stopping the run, uh, and and one of the one of the guys that's getting a lot of looks here lately. He's got offers from U of H, Air Force, and Rice, and a couple more people. But but a guy that I project is going to blow up here in the fall. It is stunning when you watch him that for a guy that quick. It, uh, no, normally you say for a guy that big, he's that fast. I would flip it on its head. For a guy that fast, he is beefy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. He and he doesn't mind mixing it up, as you can see mm-hmm. on tape. He he'll get in there and 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 stop the run. And but he's also good enough to 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 roll out and cover guys on the slot and pick up those backs out of the backfield. So so a guy that once again, colleges are looking at these type of guys that can stay in three downs and they don't have to rotate a guy on third down. Uh, and, and, and so they can stop the run and they can stop the pass. 
We're talking with James Lott, the official recruiting analyst of Dave Campbell's Texas Football here on DCTF Live. Get involved with the conversation and hashtag DCTF Live. All right, so those are two guys who are kind of, if you wanted to call them hybrids of any two positions, it would be kind of linebacker and defensive end. Well, here's a kid, and I'm crazy about this kid. I, I love watching this kid play. Uh, it, he is kind of a, a hybrid safety and linebacker, kind of a smaller guy. In Ahmad Willis Dalton out of Cy Ranch, man, I cannot stop watching this kid play. He is fun to watch. Anytime you watch a guy, and the first first reel I watched on him when I watched him play was I pulled up the tape. Well, he bring, he takes a, a kickoff back to the house. Mm-hmm. So. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete. Very rarely do you see linebackers <laughs> returning punts and kicks. Mm-hmm. Uh, but very explosive kid, very athletic, uh, a terror off the edge. You know, quarterbacks beware when this kid's on the field. He is coming and he is a headhunter coming to sack the quarterback and cause destruction. But I think, you know, like you said earlier, he's going to be a strong safety at the next level, but he's going to be a bona fide guy. He's a special teams contributor, uh, which I like to see. He flies around on the kickoff. He's on the punt return. He's on the punt. Uh, but but just a hungry kid that I think has got a, a great ceiling just because his love for the game and, and, and college programs next year are going to have a tough time keeping that kid off the field. I really, really love watching this kid play in Ahmad Wilson Dalton out of Cy Ranch. And, and you mentioned that he's probably a strong safety at the next level. And, and that's something that colleges are looking for, too, is they're looking for guys that, you know, for safeties, you got to be able to do everything. And, yeah, he can cover back there, but he can also come in and he can be there and run support and he can thump them. Exactly, exactly. And with the colleges – Starting off with the two shell and rolling that safety down into the box as an extra linebacker, he perfectly fits that mold, and 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 he's going to be a guy that's going to be a force to reckon with uh, the moment he steps on the college campus. He is James Lott. He is the official recruiting analyst of Dave Campbell's Texas Football. Follow him on Twitter at JL Scouting. James, appreciate your time. Enjoy the week, and uh, we'll do it again next week. Okay, you guys have a good one.